Hey guys, this is Luke from the Scoundrels Cantina and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars set review. And in this video I'll be reviewing the Duel on the Boost set. The number of that set is 75169 and it is a 2017 winter set. And it is based off of Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, in which Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn fight Darth Maul in Theed Palace on Naboo, which is one of the most iconic and epic scenes in all of Star Wars by my thoughts. Now this is a set that I've been waiting for for a long time now. And the LEGO simply didn't make it, and it, they are about 18 years late because the Phantom Menace came out in 1999 and this set is a 2017 set, but I'll get to that in a moment. Um, anyway, if this is your first time watching one of our videos, be sure to check out this video in which we explain our view on Star Wars briefly. The link will be in the description down below. So first off, I'm going to be starting off with the minifigs. First off, we get three of the most suited minifigs for this set which are a perfect choice by LEGO and that is probably the main reason why I recommend this set so much and the main reason why I even bought it. And they basically never made a better choice in minifigs so that's a big plus to the Duel of Naboo set even though the actual playset is kinda mediocre. The first minifigure up is Young Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi and just to say that none of these minifigs are actually new to this set and exclusive to it, you can get them in other sets. So anyway, starting off with Obi-Wan Kenobi, he has the same leg prints as he had in previous sets as a Padawan. Also the back prints are completely the same, as well as the torso, and he has that braid as a Padawan right there. Also the face hasn't been changed as well, has the same exact expressions as he has in other sets. And the only difference is he doesn't have a cape here. But all in all, it's a really nice minifig, especially because you get Qui-Gon and Darth Maul in the same set. Now the next minifigure up is Qui-Gon Jinn, and you can get this exact same minifigure in the 2015 version of Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator. The only difference is he, he doesn't have a cape here. So anyway, let's get into the details. He has really nice leg prints, and this is my first Qui-Gon with leg prints, and I'm really liking how Lego made it. Also the torso is exactly the same as it was before, and the face has a bit of a difference. It has some grey um, details there, like his grey beard. And also, I think this face is exclusive to this set, because this is the face when Darth Maul stabs Qui-Gon. So yeah. Anyway, nice minifig. Mo moving on to the last one. Now the last minifigure up is Darth Maul, and you can also get the exact same version of him in the 2015 Sith Infiltrator set. As well as with Qui-Gon, you don't get the cape and the hood. But all in all, it's an okay minifig, but probably the worst one in this set, because I prefer Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon because LEGO screwed up with Darth Maul's face, as you can see here, it looks really weird, I'm not really a fan of it, I simply prefer the old one from 2011, I still like that one better, but the torso and the leg prints are very accurate to the actual Darth Maul from The Phantom Menace, and I'm really happy how they did it, so I'll be simply changing the faces for my LEGO collection. So now it's time to move on to the set. When I first found out that this set was coming out, I was like so excited, but in the end it didn't turn out to be much of a display piece, which I was expecting. But anyway, it has a lot of awesome features in it, which are quite effective to my surprise, and all in all, I think that everyone can relive their favorite Phantom Menace scene with this, and it is simply worth having. As you can see, this is specifically the place where Qui-Gon Jinn is stabbed by Darth Maul, and also where Obi-Wan cuts Darth Maul in half, and where Obi-Wan jumps out of the vent hole, or whatever you call it. And as you can see, you have that ray shield door, which is by the way a very good feature to this, and also has a very good mechanism for it. Starting off with one of the main features is this ray shield door, which simply opens up like this, you pull this part here, and it simply opens it up. It doesn't really work in Star Wars like that, but for LEGO, it's really well done, and it always does what it's supposed to. Now, under this platform, we have some kind of a reactor core, or whatever you guys want to call it. I'm not really sure, it's not really seen in the Phantom Menace. And it's simply done for extra details for this set, I'm not really a fan of it. And all in all, when I finish this review, I'm going to be taking this set down and using the awesome pieces which you get in this set for my other things. Also this here is kind of the jump pad for Obi-Wan to jump out of this chasm, chasm which I'm going to show you in a moment. 
Now this is what the chasm looks from the inside and as you can see here at the back as a clear piece and when you press on the jump pad that I showed you before it's supposed to push this up and if your minifigure is inside he's supposed to fly out I'll show you that in a moment as well and it's supposed to replicate that scene when Obi-Wan Kenobi is jumping out with the force and cutting Darth Maul in half also this li these lights here that as you can see are also accurate to that scene and actually Obi-Wan is holding on to one of them so yeah now I'm replicating the scene when Obi-Wan is in the chasm and also Qui-Gon Jinn as you can see is lying and dying there with his lightsaber on the floor just waiting for Obi-Wan to force it into his hand and Darth Maul is taunting Obi-Wan with his cut in half lightsaber so now when I put all the minifigs in their place it's time to use the force and show you how this feature works keep in mind that as hard as you press it the harder Obi-Wan will fly out so I can simply press it once like this and he will fly out or I can simply have fun with this and yeah also you can get stuck if you do this too much so keep in mind Whoa. <laughs> now this was an accident and now let's hit Darth Maul with this okay that didn't work okay now that worked this scene that LEGO recreated is partly accurate, although the chasm should be way way bigger, but the light blue clear pieces on the floor are accurate when you look at the actual scene. Also that wall in the background has a sticker and it's the only sticker in this set and it's very accurate to the actual scene when you look at it. And I really think it's a real shame that LEGO didn't put four of these walls and make this chasm a bit bigger. And now here is a look on the back of the set. And after this, we are basically done. Anyway guys, this is it on the set review, and I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this one. The links to the playlists for my other set reviews will be in the description down below, as well as the playlist to my mock reviews and custom minifigure builds. As some of you may know, I usually upgrade my sets when they are worth upgrading, but in this case, I actually have a mock based on the same scene that I reviewed here. Also, be sure to check out my room tour video in which you can see my whole LEGO Star Wars collection and after you see it, be sure to tell me in the comments what to review next. The link will be also in the description down below. Anyway, remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum, have an awesome day, bye bye.